But here's our NBA insider extraordinaire, Adrian Wojnarowski. And, and so the Lakers, as we just talked about the trade deadline, that came and went. They didn't make any move of consequence. But how can they still go about trying to upgrade this roster? Uh, Greeny, the buyout market, and that for the Lakers is going to start with the pursuit of Goran Dragic. He was traded to San Antonio on Thursday. I'm told they're going to have a buyout here in the coming days. And then the Lakers get in line with a number of contenders, including the Warriors, who we'll see tonight, the Chicago Bulls, the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, and uh, the Brooklyn Nets, and across town, the Clippers. But Dragic is a player who just two years ago, in the bubble, uh, almost 20 points a game, led the Heat to the finals, got injured, didn't play much in the NBA finals, but he's been working out in South Florida, was away from the Raptors this season after playing five games. You know, a lot of people thought that Dragic would be headed to Dallas. Mm. He's a Slovenian, part of the Slovenian national team with Luka Doncic. They share the same agent, Bill Duffy. But Dallas addressed their point guard uh, situation, picking up Spencer Dinwiddie. But Goran Dragic is really going to be, I think, the foremost player in this buyout market. The Lakers did not get anything done at the trade deadline. They're going to try to be very aggressive with Dragic. Yeah, he's been a good player for a long time. Quickly, how, how quickly does that happen? For the fans out there who don't really understand the buyout market, how, how soon will he be on a team? As soon as next week, once he agrees to a buyout, he has to clear waivers. And, you know, teams who have been monitoring situa his situation, yeah. they believe he's in shape. He's ready to come in and play very quickly. All right, so it could be soon. We'll see if the, for the Lakers, a, a little bit of the cavalry might be on the way. And candidly, they need it. The Lakers have really struggled this entire season. That is despite LeBron James having one of the best years he's ever had. He's scored at least 25 points in 21 straight games. That's tied for the longest streak of his career. But amazingly, the Lakers are just 9-12. and 12. <laughs> in that stretch. So he's playing great. They're not winning games around him. A terrible loss to Portland the other night, humiliated by Milwaukee recently. So Jalen Rose, mm -hmm. how do the Lakers get out of this fog they seem to be in? Tonight probably start with bringing Russ off the bench. I think that's something that we may be talking about by the end of the night. The other thing, Goran Dragic, if they sign him, what's, what's that going to mean for Russ, Stephen A? Yeah, he, he'll be sitting down. Yes. If you, he would, sign, if you sign Goran Dragic, there's no minutes for Russ. I'm already talking about him coming off the bench. They're bringing in another guard. So with that being said, for the Lakers, try to they're, – they're going to be a part of the play-in. The, these are the play-in Lakers. Mm -hmm. We didn't think we were going to get this version of the team, but this is who we have. And at that point, they hope for a miracle against the Suns or the Warriors or one of those teams up top. But this just isn't going to be a team that's going to contend in the West. I was just told Russell Westbrook is in the starting lineup okay, tonight for correct. the Lakers for whatever that's worth. Right. They you're still not, you're can't not wrong. Get it right. Yeah. Because what that's you're a, saying is that's what they should do. <laughs> correct. It doesn't mean that's what they are doing. Correct. The Lakers are done. I'm tired of this exercise. When are they going to write the ship next year, the year after? They're not writing the ship for any competitive purposes this year. And Goran Dragic, who I, I, I like a lot for the same reasons as these guys, he can't help them. If LeBron James can't help the Lakers, why do we think Goran Dragic can help them? He can't. He won't. They're done. I disagree. I don't believe they're done. I think that a lot of, a lot of guys were tight. They knew the trading deadline was coming up. There were some people that weren't worried about not being there. LeBron was hurt. Obviously, AD had just came back and had to get his legs under. Years, I understand that. I understand that. But I'm just saying, if you look at Anthony Davis and LeBron James, if they are healthy, obviously we're not talking about the top five seeds. Do I think they can find a way to squeeze themselves into a top six seed? Yes, I do. I ain't messing with Phoenix, Golden State, Memphis, Utah, and Dallas. Dallas has won like four straight. Utah has won five straight. I'm, I'm saying all of those teams are there. But don't tell me that a healthy LeBron James, a healthy Anthony Davis, with Vogel saying, LeBron James, the offense is running through you, that it can't be manipulated into being a top six seed. It is not too late. So you mean the Lakers as a six seed? getting potentially bounced in the first round By Memphis. also. By Memphis. Exactly. Yeah, I agree with you. Yes. They're I agree with you. Something from Anthony Davis, something That's they have not gotten from, from him this year at <laughs> all. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.